Welcome to deep dive into the Microsoft Graph REST API Connect. Are you struggling to effectively manage user data in Microsoft Intra-ID? Whether you are a seasonal developer, an IT administrator, or simply seeking to optimize your user management process, this tutorial is designed for you. Throughout this session, we will explore various operations related to user management within Microsoft Intra-ID using Graph API. From authenticating, to querying, updating, and deleting users. I will provide comprehensive insight and hands-on example to guide you through each steps. While I will be demonstrating this operation using Postman, you can apply the same principle across various programming language. So let's dive in together and unlock the full potential of Microsoft Graph APIs for user management in Microsoft Intra-ID. Before we start our journey, ensure you have necessary permission in place. You will need an app registration to obtain the client ID and secret. If you haven't done so already, create a new. I have named Graph Quick Start. Grant your app permission that includes user.readwrite.all and directory.readwrite.all. While I have simplified permission for this tutorial, remember to follow best practices while granting permission. Lastly, ensure that your application ID has user administrator privileges in Microsoft Intra roles and administrator settings. This preparation will ensure a smooth exploration of user management with Microsoft Graph API. We will start by creating a POST API that generates an access token to authenticate our subsequent API request. Let's name this access token. Set the request URL to https login.microsoft.com slash tenant slash oauth2 slash v2.0 slash token. Replace tenant with your tenant ID. You can find the tenant ID in Azure portal by navigating to your Microsoft Intra ID. In the header section, add content type with the value of application slash x www form URL encoded. In the body section, include grant type with the value client credential, scope with a default value of https graph.microsoft.com slash dot default and provide your client ID and client secret finally. Hit the send button to obtain the access token. This token will be valid for one hour. Let's now perform some GET queries to retry user data. First, let's create a new GET request named GET ALL USER in Postman. Set the request URL to https colon slash slash graph.microsoft.com slash v 1.0 slash users. In the header section, add authorization with barrier followed by your token, hit send to retry user data. By default, this query returns the first 100 users. To retry additional sets of users, you need to use data.next link provided in the response. Additionally, if you want to count the total number of users, create another get request named get user count Set the request URL to https colon slash slash graph.microsoft.com slash v1.0 slash user slash dollar count. In the header section, include authorization with barrier followed by your token. Include consistency level with a value eventual in the header. Now hit the send button and you will receive the total number of user count. The real power lies in the filtering and sorting. Create a new GET request named filter in the postman. Let's say you are interested in users whose name begin with A. Set the request URL to https colon slash slash graph.microsoft.com slash v1.0 slash users. In the header section, add authorization with barrier followed by your token. Include consistency level with a value of eventual. Apply filter like display name start with A. 
and include order by with display name for sorting. However, note that order by work only with count, so ensure to set count to true as well. Upon hitting send, you will observe 19 users whose names start with A. The Microsoft Graph API offers advanced filter options such as equal to, not equal, not, start with, end with, in, less than or equal, greater than or equal, and many more. If you are keen in mastering this advanced search, check out the separate video I have created for detailed exploration. The link is provided in the video description. Now let's include top 10 and hit send. In the response body, you will see 19 users with the top 10 displayed. To retry the next set of records, simply copy the next link and execute the API. You will notice an additional line user written this time without a next link because the previous request we fetch 10 out of 19 records. The response include all metadata such as business phone, display name, given name, job title and more. If you wish to retry limited metadata, include parameter like select with display name and ID. Executing the API with this parameter will return only the specific metadata for user. The Graph API also provides the search feature which function like content search, allowing you to search for any occurrence of the term within property. Let's explore this by creating a new HTTP request named search in Postman. In the URL include https colon slash slash graph.microsoft.com slash v1.0 slash user search equal to display name ma. This query will search for users whose display name contain ma. In the header section include authorization with barrier followed by your token and consistency level with the value eventual. Upon executing the API, you will receive results where the name display name contain MA. Now let's explore how to create new users. Start by creating a new HTTP request name create users in Postman. This will be post request with the URL https colon slash slash graph.microsoft.com slash v1.0 slash users. In the header section include authorization with barrier followed by your token and content type with a value of application session. Next, in the request body add the user information account enable true display name mail nickname and user principal. Additionally, provide a default password for the new user. Execute the API and verify the result. Once successful, let's confirm in Microsoft Intrady that the user has been created. Perform a search and you should find the newly created user available. To retry the detail of specific user, we will utilize their user ID in the URL. If your application store user email ID or display name instead of user ID, you will need to retry the user ID using filter condition. Let's proceed by adding a new HTTP request to retry the user ID, which we will rename as a get user ID. In this get API request, we shall use a filter condition based on the display name, Nirvik Paul. In the header section, include authorization with barrier followed by your token and execute the request. The response will contain the user ID we required for further operation. Next, create another HTTP request name user properties. This will be get request with the URL https colon slash slash graph.microsoft.com slash v1.0 slash user slash user ID where you will replace user ID with the ID received earlier. In the header section include authorization with barrier followed by your token. 
this request will return the default user properties. However, user have many other properties available, which you can explore in this article. To retry the additional property in API call, open them in select parameter. For instance, include property like display name, age group, city, country, and create a date time. When you execute the API with this parameter, it will return the specific metadata. In the next example, we shall demonstrate how to update user's property. Let's begin by creating a new HTTP request name update user. The page URL for this operation is https colon slash slash graph.microsoft.com slash v1.0 slash user slash id. Before proceeding, let's obtain the id of user using the get user id request. Once we have user id, we will replace id in the URL with the actual id of the user we want to update. In the header section, update content type to application JSON and include authorization with barrier followed by your token. Navigate to body section and choose row. Here, we will update the city and country property with New York and USA respectively. Upon executing, you will notice the status code is 204, indicating success. To verify the update, retry the metadata of same user. This time, you observe the city property reflect the value we have updated. Similarly, you can use this method to update other properties such as resetting password, modifying user roles, or updating any other metadata associated with the user. Now let's explore how to delete users. To delete a user, begin by creating a new HTTP request named delete user with the delete method. In the URL include https colon slash slash graph.microsoft.com slash v1.0 slash user slash user id. Let's replace user id with the actual id the user we want to delete. In the header section include authorization with barrier followed by your token. Upon executing you will receive a response with status code 204 indicating that the user has been successfully deleted. Let's review searching user by user ID. It's important to note that when a user is deleted, they are moved to a temporary container and can be restored within 30 days. After this period, they are permanently deleted. In this tutorial, we have explored the Microsoft Graph API for managing users in Microsoft Enter ID, from authenticating to creating, updating, and deleting users. We have covered key operation. Remember to watch the complete series. In the next video, you will learn about advanced filter options and we have dedicated video to work with groups using Microsoft Graph API. Remember, this is just beginning. Keep experiencing and discovering more possibility with Graph API in your application. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. Feel free to leave any question or feedback in the comment below. Happy coding!